Let's make a sketch feature and create a couple of lines. So let's use just front plane, make a sketch. And here's the line tool. And as you can see, there's a small triangle button. So if you click on the triangle button, you have a couple of other options. But usually you just use the line tool. As you move your cursor, if you look at closely, you may see these lines there that is inference line so if there are some entities if they are aligned it almost automatically shows those lines you can align them there are two ways of drawing a line segment using mouse button so use the line tool one is you can just press the left mouse button where the line starts and then drag it and it stops by releasing the mouse button so this way you can just create a one line segment Another method is you just click it and release the mouse button and then uh, line segment follows and then click again and then another line segment continues. So this one you can create multiple line segment. Usually people use this click click method because many times you want to make multiple lines and it's fast and easier. To delete the sketch entity just select the sketch entity right click on the entity you want to delete and select delete from the pop-up menu or you select it and press the delete key on your keyboard or if you want to delete multiple ones together you just do a box selection and press the delete key let's just draw a random line so i just clicked and then if i move my cursor the line follows the cursor. At the end where the cursor is, there's a number currently 2.37. The length of this line is 2.37. But usually you don't focus on that. You can later add the length of this line by using dimensions. Okay. So just draw your shape. So let's just click on here. And then another line pops up. And then you see that there's a like yellow line. That's another inference line. So you can use that if you align those yellow line is almost perpendicular. So automatically add that perpendicular icon there. If you do that, so automatically add the uh, perpendicular constraint. We're going to talk about this constraint later in the next video. The line command continues as you click it. So if you want to stop it, if you want to terminate it, there are a couple of ways you can do. One, you can press this line button again it's currently it's depressed so this line command continues so you can just depress that and then it terminates another way is as you move your line you just press the escape key on your keyboard it terminates another one is you just as you draw lines and here you double click and it stops so you draw a line double click so the line command terminates. I prefer using escape keyboard. It's much easier and fast. Another option is the center line. So you can use the center line. It is aligned but with this center line fonts. So this line will not participate in creating geometry. It's used for construction line or axis of revolve. But any line can turn to a construction line so let's say I can select this line and on, on here on the left hand side there's a property manager so that is uh, about the line property and one of the checkbox is for construction okay so if you check, click it turn to construction again if you select that line uncheck that for construction become solid line so any line even if I use this uh, center line command I can turn it back to regular solid line okay so actually this command is for convenience only but you can you can turn any sketch entities like circles can turn to construction sketch entity the third one is midpoint line so if you want to make a symmetric part so starting from there that is always symmetric about the center line so you have the point in the middle so you can use this point for constructing that is symmetric so this command could be useful 
Another property, you can set the line to be infinite length. And you can also use that construction there. Uh, uncheck it, turn back to line segment. The, the, another property shown here is the uh, length, current length of this line and the angle from horizontal direction. But use this as just a reference. Don't try to change this one to make the exact length of that because even if you do, it can easily change later on. So that's not the proper way of specifying the length. You need to use the dimension for that purpose. So we'll talk about this adding dimensions in the next videos.